Hello, welcome to Hollow Acres Homestead. My name is Stephanie. I have posted two videos before um, showing progress of through the garden. So this is going to be our garden tour number three. So uh, today is March 3rd to March 3rd? March 4th. Today is March 4th. So I'm, I'm way back in the back of the garden. So here's my little greenhouse held together with duct tape and staples. Works for me. So here is my long flower bed. I'm going to put snapdragons and foxgloves and geez, so much more I can't even think of right now. These are new. These were not here in the last garden tour. I have built five new boxes. And over here we have onions. I've got red carmine onions and yellow stud, stud gunner onions. And in the middle are green, evergreen bunching onions. Okay, well, we'll go this way. So I have pretty much mostly the bed full. That didn't come out right. In the bottom layer, I have sticks and leaves. And then I did a pretty thick layer of hay. And then on top of that, I'm going to do soil. But I have to go get more soil because I am out. We know while we're over here, we'll go ahead and see what's in the greenhouse, too. My blueberries. Look at them. They're probably not going to produce anything. You can see that they've already fallen off. Come on, focus. Kind of. And this is my broccoli, cold weather stuff, some lettuce, um, Brussels sprouts and things. And I took them out of the greenhouse earlier because it was really hot in there. And I saw that there's three or four um, that have bolted, if not more. Definitely saw three or four, so I put them outside where they'd be a little cooler. And the greenhouse is coming apart. So these are the growth of the flowers. Here's cilantro. So this whole tray is cilantro. Multicolor snapdragons. Look at them. Over here are Shasta daisies. That little sprout, sproutlands going on. Thyme. Triple curled parsley. We got some of that growing. French Dwarf Marigold. I need to rewrite on these. Autumn Beauty Sunflower. There's Sunspot Sunflower too. Look, I planted these beans probably 220. Okay, today's the 4th. I don't know. I'm not doing the math in my head. And we got little sprouts. Black beans are doing well. There's a little kidney bean coming up. And there's some lima bean coming up too. And there's more beans over there on top of that box. We got all the trees over here, fruit trees, pecan tree, apples, clementines, little sproutings. I'm so excited. Over here there's strawberries. If there's no sprouts yet, I planted them on the 25th. Sweet baby watermelon. Long purple eggplant and Rosa Bianca eggplant. Watered them earlier. Guess they need it again. Little sproutings for my onions. Walla Walla. Okay. These are Walla Walla, these two. And these two are red onion. Okay. No specifics, just red onion. Cool. Nothing happening with the blueberries. Brussels sprouts sprouting. Cauliflower. Gonna let them get a little taller before I separate them. Every time I separate little tiny seedlings, they always die. So I'm just gonna wait. Little apple trees. Which one's this? Don't know. Only the date survived. <laughs> Great. More beans, black beans, llama beans. My dragon blood. None of that is growing. Kidney beans. Trying to push up. Kiwi back there. 
more apple trees. Those are doing really well. Rosemary, more apple trees. Got a lot of apple trees. My bay laurel tree. It got burned. Guess I shouldn't have brought it in the greenhouse, but what am I going to do? I replanted it, and it's in here now, so. Um, over here, there's many sweet bell peppers. They have not, none of this has done anything yet. I planted them on the 25th. We should see something soon. Sweet pea flowers there. Mixed bell peppers. Did a lot of bell peppers. Purple bell peppers. Purple. Roma tomatoes. Amish paste tomatoes. Those haven't done anything. See, we got orchids and tulips and lilies and a couple other things over here. But of course, never use a Sharpie marker on the terracotta type plastic. It never lasts. Okay, well, that's closed up. So, this is going to be my fruit section. Gonna have strawberries over here. I want to plant the blueberries over here as well. I'm thinking I'm gonna do strawberries here. Probably blueberries, they're bushes. I'll do the blueberries here so when I'm starting to fill the soil. I need to get those blueberries replanted. Guess I'll do the strawberries right here. Back here on this long one, there is going to be sunflowers and lavender, probably chamomile. And we're kind of up at the front. We still have quite a bit to go. Still also need to do some cleaning. It's been raining. I tried to collect water. That didn't work. Because I don't have any water access back here. So I go up to the house seven, eight times to fill up the watering can. And it's only going to get more because I'm going to have to water every single one of these beds every day. I just want to show you real quick the quality of this soil it is amazing i decided to there's some wood chips in here but i decided to um just get a couple trailer loads of a soil compost mix versus buying all of the bags because i get more soil for the same price that i'm going to pay i'm going to go to lowe's and spend probably 55 60 bucks on some soil and i can also do the same thing and get a trailer load full and I get more soil for around the same price. So that's what I've started doing. This is my biggest bed. This is where all the archways are. And I'm going to, as soon as I have it filled, hopefully within the next week or so, I'm going to start my beans, my climbing beans. And um, next couple of months I'll do cucumbers. But I'm going to see what I can. See how archy we can get with the beans. For the archways. Archie wasn't the right word. Okay. Here's the potato towers. I'm still not seeing any growth. Of course, I planted them when it was really cold. Oh, well. Look at there. We got a sprouter. Cover that guy back up. If you got anything going on over here. Huh. Not yet, but that's okay. I know they're working because I saw one. So I'll leave them all alone. Got four I need to plant in that far one over there. And this was the first bed that I planted in in January. All my crap's still laying in the background. Um, these... I transplanted from my front garden, and I can tell just by looking at them, they're going to bolt, and they're going to go to seed, and that's okay. I'm going to let it happen. That way, I can get some seeds out of it. They've been growing for, gosh, I got them in the fall. I just, I put them in a really bad place, and they did not grow. Not that it was a bad place. It was just the only place that was really accessible. So, even this one, you can see this one's going to sprout. Let's see if I can get... Well, maybe not, but there, we tried. The squirrels, the squirrels have eaten all the, the, um, they ate a lot of the hay off the top. And they ate, I think they ate the seeds. I don't know. 
I think this might be Brussels sprouts. I didn't label anything. I suppose I should have. I'll do it next time. Little buggies eating them. Whatever comes through. Things are trying. What's this? Oh, that's that's from the hay. Oh look, rainbow carrots. I know I planted rainbow carrots in the middle. Rainbow carrots coming through. So they're actually doing something. I was worried that they weren't. And then lettuces were planted here, but maybe there's a sprout. That might be hay, but I'm not going to pull it. I'm just going to leave it alone. The squirrels came through and ate my cabbages. Ate those to the nubs, but they're growing back. I left them and I wanted to see what would happen. That's what happens. 